गुड आफ्टरनून आई एम नीरज बद्रेसा फ्रॉम आत्मी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज टुडे वी आर डिस्कस सम इम्पोर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर दैट इज यूनिट नंबर वन सो अप टू नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस सिंपल बेसिक फॉर्म्यूला आई स्क्वेर आई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन वॉट इज आई क्यूब आई क्यूब दैट इज अगेन माइनस आई आई फोर दैट इज वन एंड देन सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंस फॉर्म्यूला फॉर वॉट इज द प्रोसीजर फॉर एडिशन ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर दैट इज जेड वन प्लस जेड टू एंड जेड वन माइनस जेड टू सेम वे वॉट इज द प्रोसीजर फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेशन देट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सेम वे वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस जेड वन डिवाइड बाई जेड टू दैट इज वॉट इज डिविजन ऑफ द टू कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड सम टेक वन आई एम पी प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड मॉड्यूल ऑफ द जेड फ्रॉम वैल्यू ऑफ द जेड दैट इज नथिंग बट अंडर रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वेर प्लस बी स्क्वेर दैट इज अगेन फॉर्मूला नाउ टूडे वी आर डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड एंगल ऑफ द एनी कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो अवर टूडे सेशन दैट इज स्टार्ट विथ दिस फॉर्मूला If z is equal to a plus i b, then argument of the z that is nothing but angle that is nothing but tan inverse b by a. B that is nothing but any value that is represent with i, and a that is nothing but any value that not represent i value. So finally we get get angle that is theta is equal to tan inverse b by a. Now this is our quadrant rule. Quadrant rule that we suggest that If any angle theta value that is in first quadrant, then use as it is theta. In quadrant rule, if fourth quadrant any value in our angle that put minus theta. Same way, if any angle that is in second quadrant, then convert theta into pi minus theta. In same way, if our angle that is in third quadrant, then convert our angle into minus pi plus theta. so based upon this two theory angle theta is equal to tan inverse b by a and quadrant rule we take some importance problem so first problem if z is equal to 2i now we write down problem first one z is equal to 2i here z is equal to 2i so we arrange this term into a plus ib form in a plus ib form and our value that is 2y so we can take this value is equal to z is equal to 0 plus 2y so we compare both the term a is equal to here 0 and again compare 2y and ib so ultimately b is equal to 2 now our set of equation or set of rule there is nothing but If you want to find out the angle of the complex number, then theta is equal to tan inverse y by b or b by a. So if theta is equal to b by a, then b value that is two and a value that is zero. So finally, we can write theta is equal to tan inverse here b value that is two. So put here two. Here a value that is zero, so put here zero. Two divide by zero, that is nothing but infinite. Any value that is divide by zero, that is nothing but we can say that infinite form. So theta is equal to tan inverse infinite. So any value, if one divide by zero, that is infinite. Two divide by zero, that is infinite. So here our rule that is infinite. Now at which angle tan goes to infinite so we can directly write at which angle so first of all we want to make one simple table so that is useful for us now sin theta and here cos theta and here tan theta here 0 degree here 30 degree here 45 degree Here 60 degree, and then 90 degree. Sine zero, that is zero. Sine 30 degree, that is 1 upon 2. Sine 45, that is 1 upon under root 2. Sine 60, that is under root 3 by 2. And sine 90 degree, that is 1. 
now we want to again find out the cos theta value cos theta value that is totally reverse so what is the value in sin 90 that is become sin cos 0 value so cos 0 is equal to sin 90 so cos 0 that is 1 what is the value of the cos 30 degree that is sin 60 degree that is under root 3 by 2 so here under root 3 by 2 under root 3 by 2 that is nothing but cos 30 degree and cos 45 that is same as sin 45 so it becomes 1 upon under root 2 same way cos 60 degree that is nothing but sin 30 degree so that is 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 cos 90 degree that is nothing but sin 0 degree that is 0 so finally we write 0 so totally reverse equation what is the value of the sin 0 that is nothing but cos 90 degree now tan theta value we want to find out tan theta that is nothing but indirectly sin upon cos so sin theta upon cos theta so 0 divided by 1 ultimately 10 0 degree that is nothing but sin 0 divided by cos 0 so sin 0 that is 0 cos 0 that is 1 so 0 divided by 1 so ultimately answer that is 0 1 divided by 2 now we want to find out the 10 30 degree so sin 30 degree that is 1 divided by 2 and cos 30 degree that is under root 3 by 2 so finally 1 upon 2 divided by under root 3 by 2 so these 2 and 2 are cancel out so finally we can go 1 upon under root 3 same way we want to find out the 10 45 degree so sin 45 upon cos 45 both the value are same and in division we can write 1 same way we want to find out the 10 60 degree so 10 60 degree that is sin 60 upon cos 60 so under root 3 by 2 and 1 upon 2 here 2 and 2 both are cancelled out so finally we can go under root 3 only under root 3 by 1 so that is under root 3 and final last value that is 10 90 degree that is nothing but sin 90 upon cos 90 so 1 divided by 0 that is nothing but infinite so our answer in our previous example that is at which angle our 10 value that becomes infinite so angle that is 90 degree we can write here pi by form also this is nothing but 0 this is angle of the pi by 6 this is nothing but pi by 4 this is nothing but pi by 3 this is nothing but pi by 2 we can write 90 degree or at pi by 2 value our angle that is infinite so in our previous example at which angle we can go 10 infinite that is nothing but pi by 2 so theta is equal to pi by 2 or 90 degree so in this way we can find the angle of the our any complex number but same way we want to also find out mode of z in our question we want to find out the two value mode of z and angle so we find out the angle now mode of z so mode of z equation that is nothing but under root of a square plus b square here a value that is 0 here b value that is 2 so we put here a square that is 0 square b square value that is 2 so plus 2 square is equal to 0 square that is 0 plus 2 square that is 4 0 plus 4 again 4 and finally under root of 4 that is 2 so we got our two answer first one that is 2 and second one that is our angle angle that is pi by 2 now we move to our next question our next question that is find the mode of z that is same and we want to find out the argument of z that is nothing but angle and second question that is 2 plus i divided by 3 minus i whole square so we want to write down our second question second question that is 2 plus i divided by 3 minus i whole square 
so we want to find out mod of z is equal to how much and we want to find out the angle that is how much we want to find out the two value if you want to find out the mod of z then we must convert our any z here z is equal to our any z a plus ib form so first of all we need to convert our z value into a plus ib form so this is nothing but division of the complex number in our previous session we already discussed how can we take a division so this is nothing but how can we take a division so write down 2 plus i divide by 3 minus i multiply and divide denominator term with is conjugate form so that is 3 plus i and again 3 plus i so our input value that is same so multiply and divide 3 plus i 3 plus i but don't forget to square this term because this is our input so square now our form that is nothing but 2 plus i multiply with 3 plus i and in denominator term 3 minus i multiply 3 plus i now this is nothing but 2 multiply with 3 2 multiply with i here again i multiply with 3 and i multiply with i so in this way we can multiply this two number so 2 multiply 3 that is 6 2 multiply that is i that is 2i i multiply 3 that is nothing but plus 3i and again i multiply i that is nothing but i square divide by 3 minus i into 3 plus i this is nothing but a minus b and a plus b form so final answer that is a square minus b square so a square that is 3 square minus b square b that is nothing but i so i square now we again simplify our numerator and denominator term so addition of the i i number value and addition of the without i value so 6 as it is 2i plus 3i that is 5i and our basic rule of the complex number that is i square is equal to minus 1 so if you replace i square is equal to minus 1 here then our numerator becomes 6 plus 3i minus 1 and now our denominator we want to simplify 3 square is equal to 9 minus i square that is again we want to put i square is equal to minus 1 here so i square is equal to minus 1 now again we want to simplify our both the term numerator and denominator so 6 minus 1 that is nothing but 5 here z is equal to 5 plus 5i divide by 9 minus minus 1 so minus minus that is plus 1 so 9 plus 1 that is nothing but 10 is equal to now this 10 that we divide numerator both the term 5 divide by 10 and 5 i divide by 10 so 5 divide by 10 plus 5 i divide by 10 so again we simplify our term that is 5 into 2 that is 10 so that is 1 by 2 plus here 5 i divided by 10 that is again nothing but 1 by 2 i here again our term that is contain a square so again here square here again square same way again here square same way again here square and same way again here square so this is nothing but our squaring value what we want to convert a plus ib form so again we want to simplify this term and got value of equivalent to a plus ib form this is not our a plus ib form but a plus ib square form so again we want to simplify here a plus b no square that is nothing but a square plus 2 into first term into second term and then 
last term square so again simplify 1 by 2 square plus 2 into first term into second term it is 1 by 2 i and then last term square it is plus 1 by 2 i square now we want to simplify 1 by 2 square that is nothing but 1 by 4 here 2 and 2 cancel out so remaining term that is plus 1 by 2 i and here 1 by 2 i all square that is nothing but plus 1 by 4 i square here minus 1 now we again simplify here minus 1 that is here so minus 1 by 4 finally and our first term that is plus 1 by 4 so this 1 by 4 and this 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 that is cancel out and final result that is 1 by 2 i so 1 by 2 i that is nothing but 0 is equal to 1 by 2 i so again we simplify our z that is z is equal to 0 plus 1 by 2 i so this is nothing but our value that we convert into a plus b i form so our a value that is 0 and our b value that is 1 by 2 now we want to find total two value first one that is mode of z and second one that is theta so equation of the mode of z that is nothing but under root of a square plus b square so finally a is equal to 0 so that is 0 square and b value that is 1 by 2 so plus 1 by 2 square now again we want to simplify 0 square that is 0 neglected plus 1 by 2 square that is nothing but 1 by 4 so under root of 1 upon 4 that is nothing but 1 upon 2 so our first value 